What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. And uh, unfortunately, I have some sad news to report. And that is that the greatest coach in the history of the Indiana Pacers organization has died. Bobby Slick Leonard, the former NBA player and Hall of Fame coach who won three ABA championships with the Indiana Pacers and spent more than a half century with the organization, died today at the age of 88. No details were given as to cause of death. He had been in failing health in recent years, including, I believe, he suffered, I think it was a heart attack, uh, about 10 years ago. So he had been in failing health for several years. Leonard had a record of 573 wins and 534 losses in 14 seasons as a coach, the last 12 with the Pacers. He also, as a player, made the winning free throws in the 1953 NCAA tournament to give the Indiana Hoosiers the second of his five national titles and was later named one of the school's 50 greatest players. The two-time All-American led the Hoosiers to Big Ten titles in 1953 and 1954 before joining the U.S. Army. He then played seven years with the Minneapolis and then later Los Angeles Lakers and was named an NBA All-Star in 1963. However, his greatest moments came after his playing career when he became the head coach of the Pacers in 1968. Team owner Herb Simon said today in a statement, Pacers fans will remember Bobby Slick Leonard as the spirit of our franchise. With a charisma, intensity, and wit to match his nickname, Slick made us champions. He was our biggest fan and our most loving critic, and he personified Pacers basketball for a generation of Hoosiers fans and family. Most importantly, though, Slick and his wife Nancy are our family, and his passing leaves an unfillable void in the hearts of everyone associated with this organization. Back in 1977, when the Indiana Pacers were on the verge of folding, it was Slick Leonard and his wife who helped organize a telethon to save the franchise. In 1985, he became the Pacers' color commentary, a uh, color commenter, excuse me, on television broadcasts and later moved into the radio booth where he coined his trademark phrase, boom, baby, when Pacers players made three-pointers. You might have heard him say that when Reggie Miller would hit a three. That was Slick Leonard. He was the best coach I ever played for in last shot pressure situations, Hall of Fame player George McKinnis said recently. In the seventh game, he would change the entire offense. It was genius. I think that's why, if you look at the Pacers, they won all three ABA championships, I believe, in seventh games on the road. Leonard was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2014. He's also a member of the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame and the Indiana Sports Writers and Broadcasters Hall of Fame and was the first person inducted into the Indiana University Sports Hall of Fame. His victory total with the Pacers, 529 hangs on a banner in the Banker's Life Fieldhouse rafters. Salute to the greatest coach in history of the Indiana Pacers franchise, Bobby Slick Leonard, who passed away today at the age of 88.